I, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about um, the secret of the power of God. Uh, first of all, if you don't have tremendous hunger for the power of God and for God's kingdom, and if you don't have a tremendous love for God and to do and to do God's perfect will in your life, this will not help you. But if you do have that tremendous hunger for God and you want to be an extraordinary Christian, a disciple, a true disciple of Jesus Christ, then this will help you. So, you know, don't waste your time if you're not one of those persons. If you don't want to be close to God and don't want to have the powers of God, this video is not for you. You know, just go on living your life however you want to live. Just love and just be good unto others, you know. This is only for disciples who want to be disciple of Christ. I'm not asking, you know, just Christian. The only Bible talks about Christian, the word Christian, about one time or two times. You know, the rest of it is about discipleship. It's about being disciple of Jesus Christ. It's not just wishy-washy, whatever, I go to church once a year, you know, Christian, okay? <clears throat> this is for dedicated, dated, dedicated Christians to God who, who are able to pray daily with hunger and, and fasting. So, uh, okay, let me begin. Um, first of all, we have to acknowledge that this is only for Jesus Christ. That we're not, we're not going to be receiving the glory, but this is for the glory of Jesus Christ. And in turn, when you do truthfully give your, all the glory to Jesus Christ, God in turn will give you glory. So don't worry about that. Um, second, second thing is, uh, you have to be baptized by the Holy Spirit and in water. Jesus was baptized in the water, and then the Holy Spirit came down to him and baptized him in the Holy Spirit. So when he got baptized, he was led into the desert, and he fasted for about 40 days, and then he fought, off, fought with demons and devils. And when he had victory over the devil, God got endowed him with, with you know, power, and, you know, got, got, because he passed the test. Same thing. You have to model Jesus Christ. He's your he's your model, role model, and if you ran through that, you also have to go through the same things. Now I'm not asking anybody to do 40 day fasting. If you can, glory to God. If you cannot, you know, 10 days fast, five days fast, 20 day fast. Okay, don't try to do 40 days by your own 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 might. If you think you can, glory to God. If you're not healthy, you know, I don't recommend it. You know, it's really hard, but uh, if you have that tremendous hunger and the dedication to do that, then do it. And if you think God is leading you to fast, then do it. You know, three days, come on, three days, right? Three days at least, minimum, you know, three days. This is for disciples. I'm not talking to normal Christians. Normal Christians, day, half day, whatever you want to, you know. <clears throat> okay, Um, and the second thing is, after you fast, you know, um, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The only way to be filled with the Holy Spirit is by praying and reading the Bible. Reading the Bible in turn only gives you knowledge, but you must pray in the Spirit. Now what do you mean by in the Spirit? It means gift of tongues in the Holy Spirit language. Okay, it's like this. It's like when you download a program on your computer, the program starts being downloaded, right? How many megabytes it gets downloaded, right? But you don't know what's being downloaded. It's all it's it's all in codes. It's all in zero one zero 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 one zero 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 like that. You know when you pray in tongues, it's all in codes. But when this program is finished downloading, then you have certain some program that to kick up viruses. You have these programs to prevent your computer. You know whatever, all these kinds of programs. You know, same thing in the gift of the Holy Spirit. When the, once the program is finished downloading in the Holy Spirit, then you're able to do God's works. Whether it be gift of miracles, gift of healing, gift of prophecy, gift of, you have to get it downloaded first from heaven, directly from God, into you, into your spirit. Okay, when you pray in tongues, the advantage of it is you get to kick off demons out of your body. This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Temple of the Holy Spirit, you know, being depleted of the Holy Spirit, what do you think will possess you? Demons. Demons call your body a house. God calls your body a temple of God. Well, demons call it their house. You know? So, 
you either you know are being filled with the Holy Spirit or either you're being filled with the world and the world of things is of the devil so you get filled with the devil you know <laughs> either in your brain or even in your spirit you know in your body so you don't want demons you know if you're, if you're wishy-washy Christians mostly they're demons possessing you and if you're always in anger and, and depression and all these you know wicked thoughts coming to your head the chance of you being possessed by demons is very high. You just don't know it. Because in your body, you can possess up to thousands and thousands of demons in you. Like, almost unlimited. You know, it talks about in the Bible, a person who was possessed with 2,000 demons in them had legions of demons in them. That's why he was so crazy and he was able to break chains and all these stuff. All these stuff. But, uh, you know, if you have, like, few few demons on you, bothering you, you know, you, you'll just get pissed off at people, you'll get angry, you'll get envious, you'll get jealous, you'll get, you know, just just all these bad stuff. So, when you pray in the Spirit, what happens is because the Holy Spirit is now coming into you, you know, the demons get get cast out. Now, strong demons won't leave un unless you fast and pray a lot. Strong demons. But most demons will leave when you pray in the Spirit for hours and hours, like two, three hours. The, the demons will surely leave you. And you'll be filled with the peace of God from the Holy Spirit. Because the presence of God complies with uh, peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So those th three things, will you, you start to become righteous and not wanting to do sin. Glory. Okay, everybody agree? <clears throat> so, uh, it's, it's like a cell phone. Okay, we are a cell phone. Okay. Now the cell phone, if it's properly used, you can talk to God. Uh, hello, you know, you can talk to the Father. In heaven if this is your body let's let's say this is your body and you can talk to God if, if there's battery inside battery which is the baptism of the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit comes in you which is a battery pack represent the battery pack of the phone okay and you can talk to God you can talk but then over time the battery dies after a day of usage or something the battery dies so what do you have to do Plug it into heaven, okay? Plug your, you know, charger back to heaven, okay? Praying in the Holy Spirit and get connected with the kingdom of God. Get connected with the kingdom of God. And when you're downloading or being charging, charging yourself with the Holy Spirit, praying the Spirit, necessarily praying the Spirit, you know, praying the, the daily prayer and praying the Spirit and in words and in Spirit, okay? And reading the Bible, for for user 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 manual, you need to know the user manual to use this phone properly, right? Or how you're gonna dial if you don't know how to dial, right? So use a read the Bible, and praying the Spirit. Then now you're able to call, you know, and talk to God, you know, whatever you need, whatever you want, pray, ask. Okay, then God will talk back to you. Now if you're concentrating God, God will talk back to you, and you'll hear if you have enough battery power. If you do not have battery power in here, you know, if you don't have the battery or the battery is not charged up, you won't hear God. Okay, simple as that. Simple as that. So, um, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, God will just talk to you and you'll hear. Glory, hallelujah. And then the, the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, okay? Those things require, properly require fasting. Now, I don't know how long they, they require each gift that's different. And there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Just look that up in the Bible. You know, go 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 somewhere and find it. God will lead, lead you to it if you if you have something in mind. There are gift of healing, you know, miracles, gift of knowledge, gift of uh, prophecy, gift of interpretation in tongues, gift of tongues, you know, all these stuff, right? And there are three more. And the best one is gift of love. But if you have tremendous love for God's kingdom, you'll have the gift of love. You know, naturally, and you want to do God's God's will. So, uh, so these are the secrets, and only keep keep in mind that demons will attack you, and you must cast them out by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Okay, and the phone number to call God is the name Jesus Christ. So, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Okay. All right. God bless. I uh, hope this helps and. Many will turn to disciples of God instead of just a Christian. Okay? Thank you.